what I'm about to teach you today is uh, an open source, how to use an open source tool called Chatbot. Okay, I'm not gonna talk much because I'm sure you don't want to hear me like talk so much. So, what is Chatbot? Chatbot is an open source project which helps you to manage your customers. And what problem does it solve? The problem is that if you're a business, you you'd have your customer customer base everywhere, like right, like. they might message you on email or slack or messenger or facebook or whatsapp or twitter or discord and a whole bunch of stuff okay and how do you, how do you manage them you manually reply or you'd assign someone to reply right which is cool but not very cool because not as cool as chatbot because chatbot helps you to um it grabs all of your messages in all of those uh platforms and then it shows you in one dashboard and when it shows you on one dashboard that's already cool but on top of that what's cool is that it also allows you to assign who's going to manage uh, who's going to like you can assign those messages to your team so maybe like you've got a guy named john or something and you can assign him to you can direct all of your whatsapp messages to him just cool right and also um if he's on leave or something you can reassign it to someone else it's so powerful okay so the point is that it it integrates all of your social platforms in one dashboard and you can see all of your messages in one dashboard and reply to them that's what it is but and i wrote an article on this and i don't want to like of course i'm not going to reread it again but i'll just highlight some of the cool stuff about it okay one of the cool things is that about chatbot is that it allows you to um I'm not sure where I wrote this. It allows you to um, efficiently respond to your um, customers. So instead of writing something long, like "Hey, how are you? We're happy, Merry Christmas" or something like that, something super long, you can write a short code. Maybe forward slash, uh, and usually a short code starts with forward slash. So if you write forward slash and then greet G R E E T, and then that's gonna and you type and you hit enter, it's gonna generate a long template, and you don't need to like manually type, which is just gonna take, which is gonna consume so much of time. So you can do like a lot of cool stuff. But let's just get started, okay? Just gonna get started. Let's go ahead to Google and Chatwood, uh, and then just search Chatwood, and then. or just type www.chatwood.com and you will see this this is the landing page right and because you can read it so and if you don't have an account i assume if you are a new new user you don't have an account you can go ahead and create an account and then just fill up the information uh, your name email something something like that but since i already have an account and i'm already logged in uh, i see this one i see this screen Okay, so once you log in, you'll see this. Okay, I'm just gonna skip that registration step because I, I assume you know how to register yourself. So this is what you see. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's just go ahead to inbox and see like what what are we offered. Okay, let's go ahead to inbox and create a new inbox. That means you want to see uh, your messages, right? So you just click plus new inbox. So what kind of options do you have? You can integrate your website. Messenger, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram, email, and SMS, all of that stuff. And you also have a manual API. If you're a programmer, then you can work with the API and you can customize it to your liking, which is cool. We've got Line as well. So if you select all of them and you, yeah, if you select all of them, then all of these messages from all of these platforms, they're gonna they're gonna be displayed on your Chatwood inbox. But for now, I'm not going to show you everything, of course, because the, the steps are very repetitive. Let's. Uh, I'm going to show you the two coolest one, which is email and manually implementing it on your website. Once you know these two, you can implement the other ones very easily, uh, because you, you're going to follow the same steps. Okay. So let's go ahead to email. Okay. What's going to okay? What are we going to do now? Okay. When someone sends you an email, what, what, when, where will you check it? Probably on Gmail, right? Or Gmail or whatever other 
G- email client like Microsoft Outlook or something. I use Gmail by the way, so I just go ahead to Gmail and I'll see all the messages. But right now, I want to see it on my chat Chatwood's dashboard. How do I do that? Very easy. You just click email and then provide all the necessary details. So I'm just going to go ahead and click email obviously and then give a channel name channel name like whatever name for this channel maybe like my amazing business. and you know what's the cool thing is you don't need to like do too much thinking just supply whatever information that is required of you my amazing business and what is your email so this is my email okay right create email channel okay then pick agents for the uh, for the inbox so if you have a lot of right now we just have one option okay but if you have a large team and you create a lot of accounts and then you assign them to your team then you you can like assign you can pick whatever agent that you want whoever agent that you want right now it's just me so i'm going to receive the inbox but in other cases in an ideal case you want to assign it to like each like one guy need a deal with one platform maybe email or something that's going to be like a little bit ideal i'm just going to add myself so i will receive the message on my dashboard at agent okay and then look guys uh this is very interest uh this is probably a little bit difficult not too much a little bit just a little bit difficult what does it say it tells you like hey you know what instead of uh you will see all your uh, all the messages that you get on your inbox you will see that but you need to ask your customers to message this email not your email this weird email so your customers have to email to this long email and then you will see it on your inbox is this cool it's not cool because why would you like why would you want your customers to like reply to this weird email right and they wouldn't even be able to type this right so what do you do you want to use uh you want to forward your email to this weird email do you get it so i'll just show you i'm just going to go ahead to my gmail you can do it in like outlook or gmail or whatever but i'm using gmail so i'm going to use gmail i'll repeat again okay supposedly you will receive email uh email to you to you on your email right like if someone message uh, um this guy someone message myself i'm going to see it over here on my inbox right because that's what it works that's how email works right but right now you want to forward all of your email to this email that chatwood gives you so that you can integrate uh so, so you can like uh display your messages over here so what what's going to happen is that listen very, very carefully guys it's a little bit just a little bit complicated You want to go ahead to settings, okay? Oh, it's in top right. It's on top right. And then click see all settings, okay? It's going to bring me to this screen on Gmail. And then I'm going to uh hit this tab forwarding and PPO uh, POP IMAP, okay? What that means is that I'm going to redirect my email to that weird email, okay? Right now I don't have a forwarding address, so I'm going to add a new one, okay? What is the email? It's this one, right? Because that's what it gives you. So I'm just going to click copy, copy and then I'm going to like paste it over here. Click click next. And it's going to ask me for my uh, it's going to ask me for confirmation. I'm going to click proceed, okay? And then it tells you like hey, a confirmation code has been sent. So that means you have to verify it from that weird email, just like every every verification. So where is the inbox? So just click tick me there. You see this is your inbox right now you have one email from Gmail from Google okay So I'm just going to verify so what do you do to verify um please click the link below to confirm the request so I'm just going to I cannot click this obviously because it uses different formatting so I'm just going to copy and paste it I'm going to copy this and I'm going to like paste it over here Now I'm going to click confirm So by clicking confirm what I'm saying is that whatever email that i receive on my personal email i'm going to re- redirect it to that weird email okay so then 
already verified so maybe i should uh, reload maybe i should reload so let's try to re- reload this thing yeah okay so right now uh gmail knows like i am associated with that weird email from chatwood okay so what do you do uh, by default uh, the forwarding is disabled so you want to enable it okay so you click this forward a copy of incoming email to this one and what do you want to do do you want to like delete gmail's copy or like keep gmail's copy in the inbox uh, ideally you want to uh, choose this one keep gmail's copy in the inbox what's going to happen is that when you get a message that that message will be on your personal inbox at the same time that message will also be on chatwood's inbox which is cool you, you want to you want to copy right because obviously you want to copy you don't want like your a uh, message to be only on one email so you want it on both mails okay and then once i click that uh, i'm going to have to scroll down don't forget this step because it's very easy to like neglect this click save ch- change okay click save once if you do it correctly you know what's going to happen yeah at the very top you'll, you'll see like a red bar it says it's like uh, you are forwarding to this email okay Now everything is done. Okay? Now let's do something. Um Yeah. Now let's do something. Everything is done. That's it guys. So right now when your customers they email you personally or to your business email or something, you will see over here. So let's go ahead and test that, okay? I'm going to go to my Gmail again. I'm going to wait. Compose a new message. Okay? I'll make it big. Okay? I'll email to myself okay this is i'm emailing to myself but it, it still is going to work okay subject um please fix my issue and then the message hey guys my id is uh, whatever you charged me i don't know 500 person month and you pay me back or something like that okay when i send it to myself okay of course i'll receive it over here but if we go here to chatwood hopefully it's going to work let's see do i yeah okay so, so you just need to wait for a while and then you see that email which you, i sent to my personal email is now on chatwood's email so you, i just forwarded my email to this email So I can just click this guy which is my server. And then you'll see the email and then you can like reply like yeah, we fixed that. We'll pay you back tonight or something like that. That's cool. And then that guy who sent this message will receive the reply obviously. Uh what's cool is that you can also make can response so forward slash and then something like that which I don't have yet but we can like do that. I'm not going to show that because that's going to take so much of time and I haven't even tested that uh, really but what what can respond is is that um instead of typing like hey there uh, merry christmas or like merry christmas and uh happy new year instead of doing that you can assign this long text to a uh, short code so forward slash slash uh, greet or something once you click enter that's going to generate that long template okay and you can do that to all of your customers so your your team or whoever in your business who's dealing with them uh, like the customers they don't need to type so much so uh, so that's going to be so cool so that's one way okay now all of your emails are here what about um and you can do the same thing for whatsapp and whatever so all of your messages are going to be displayed here email whatsapp everything they're going to be mixed here and it's going to show like where that message came from like which uh platform it came from is it whatsapp is it messengers or a messenger over here right now um it doesn't tell you because we only have like one platform a uh, message from one platform which is email but if you have multiple platforms then it's going to show you like you know it's going to like um, differentiate which platform your message uh came from that's one way Okay, now that you know how to integrate all of your messages in one dashboard, how do you what about 
what if you have a website, a custom website, okay? You have a custom website and you want to implement a button such that when the user clicks that button, a chat message is gonna, like a chat bubble is gonna pop up and the user can type something, whatever they want to ask, and that the message is gonna come to you in your dashboard. How do you do that? So that's like a different thing. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh, I have to disable forwarding, so I'll do that after this, okay? But uh, uh, when you forward your message, be very careful, guys. Uh, if you're doing it for demo purpose, make sure to revert it back. If no, all of your mails are gonna be on chat mode, okay? I mean, it's gonna be like private to you, of course, but still, I don't think so you want like your message to be duplicated in two platforms, okay? Right now, I'm gonna teach you how to yeah, like I said, implement it on your website, okay? Like right now, people are, your customers are gonna message you, okay, using their WhatsApp, right? And their Telegram and their Slack, their Messenger. Right now, what if you have a website and you wanna implement feature that lets your customers to talk with you? How do you do that, okay? For that, you can do it on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a bunch of stuff, okay? But I'm gonna teach you I'm not gonna use any crazy technology like Next.js uh, or like React or something. I'm gonna use HTML, only HTML and a little bit of JavaScript, which you don't need to know at all. So just HTML because that's the easiest thing ever. So how do you do that? So you go to chat mode, okay. Um, click this home button, okay. And then do the same thing, go to inbox and then click plus new inbox. Once you do that, you'll arrive here and instead of clicking these ones, just click website, okay? And this is very important, okay? This is gonna be a little bit complicated, okay? Let me tell you why, just a little bit. Just like the previous one where I told you like, the forwarding part is gonna be complicated. This has its own complication too. I'll tell you what it is. On your website, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tell you like what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fill up a bunch of details, your website, website, website name and what title are you gonna display in the chat uh, bubble and all of that stuff. But there's one problem, guys. You know what the problem is? You should have a domain, like URL. And only then Chatwood will know like, hey, I have to like display myself in this, in that URL. But right now you don't have a URL, why? Because you haven't even built anything, right? What if you have an existing website like, um, whatever.com, whatever.com or something like that. What if you have an existing website and then you write that URL over here? What's gonna happen? Is chat would, uh, is that button's gonna be shown? That chat would button is gonna be shown? No, because not only you have to supply the URL, also you have to supply, you have to inject some code, a script inside your code base. Only then you'll be able to like see that button. Uh, let me show you that button, how it's gonna look. Um, Yeah, this is how it's gonna look. Uh, on your website, you'll see like a small blue button, like this one over here. And then when, once you click that button, uh, this big uh, chat uh, bubble is gonna pop up and then they can chat with you. But for you to do that, on Chatwood, what you have to do is that, I'm gonna say it again. Of, of course, you have to write your website name. You can name it whatever you want. You need to have a URL. Can you write like, you need to have a URL. And for that reason, uh, and if you want a URL, you have to deploy your project, right? You have to deploy it, it has to be on the internet and only then you'll get a URL and you can supply it here. Right now, you don't have a URL because you haven't finished building it, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna deploy it halfway, no. How do you do that? I'll tell you in a bit, but right now let's do this. Open up a new folder, something, I'm gonna delete it. On VS Code, I'm gonna use uh, my favorite code editor. I guess like it's everyone's uh, code favorite code editor, VS Code, Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna create a website, okay? I'm gonna open a new file. I'm gonna start a new file. I'm gonna create a new file called index.html. It's not gonna be complex. It's just gonna be one page. It's gonna be super easy. It's just a HTML site. And to generate a boilerplate, I'm gonna type excl exclamation mark. So that's gonna trigger a template. Uh, and this is called Emmet abbreviation. You don't need to know, but if you know, it's cool. Uh, exclamation mark and then enter. So it generates this, you know, this template. 
I'm just gonna I'm not gonna build something crazy. There's just gonna be one title there in, in that side on that side. It's gonna be a H1 tag um, and I'm gonna name it like welcome Yeah, this is cool. Okay. This is the website. Very simple. Okay, I'm gonna save it and How do I open it? This is not my computer. Okay I'm gonna go ahead to this one and I'm gonna open it how do I open with Chrome? Oh, yeah. So this is the website, guys. Um, you see? That's the website that I built. There's nothing. There's only like um, one heading tag. That's it. Welcome to RVL. That's it. Okay. Now, how are you going to deploy this? Are you going to like... Um, are you going to like write this URL? No, that's not going to happen. But before that, uh, let me just go ahead and like install like one extension, which I'm not sure why I don't have it. This is not my machine. I'm using my sister's machine, but I'm sorry, guys. You have to go through this. <laughs> it's going to be done in like five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to install an extension, uh, which is going to help you to launch um, HTML files faster. Okay, so I'm going to open with live server. I'm sure you know this. I'm sure you know. If you don't know that, I mean, you can go to what that is. Um, eh, whatever. How do I do that? Yeah, maybe I should allow something. Yeah, whatever. Okay, guys. Uh, so there's a. I started it using a server. Okay, I'm sure you know what that is. It runs on localhost pod 5500. Okay. Here's the thing. Let's go back to chat mood. Let's 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 think for a while. What what does it ask you? I need you to focus. Okay. Let, what does it ask you? It asks you for URL, right? Can you go here to this Microsoft Edge? Copy this URL. Is this a URL? It is URL, right? It is URL. But if I paste it over here. Is it gonna work? It's not gonna work. You know why? Because this local host. What 5,500 is specific to my machine. Someone else from another part of the world, they type in localhost for 5,000 on their, on their browser, it's going to show something else, right? Because localhost is local. It's not on the internet. It's specific to me. It's, okay, it's isolated. So can I give that URL? No, I cannot give that URL. I have to deploy my app to the cloud, grab that URL, and then give Chadwood. Can I deploy it now? Well, that's yes, I can, but can, but really, is it ideal? No, that's not ideal. You know why? Because this website is not even done. I haven't even started. I just wrote like one line of one line. Welcome to Aviel. It's not even done. Where's the picture and the button and like the colorful stuff? No, I haven't even done it. So what can I do right now? The the answer is I can temporarily, very temporarily, deploy my application. Okay, temporarily, not like completely, but temporarily deploy my application on the internet okay my local host on the internet and then i can get that url give it to chatwood just for development purpose just test it out okay when i actually deploy it to the cloud of course i'm gonna make it like look nice and everything i can deploy it completely and then grab the url give chatwood whatever but temporarily just to test it out what am i gonna do i can temporarily deploy it on the internet and grab the url how do you temporarily deploy it I don't, I think like, um, I believe not everyone knows this, even like if you're advanced, because you don't encounter this on like a normal, like your, on your usual, in your usual work, you don't see this, but this might be a little bit advanced, but it's easy. Okay. How do you temporarily deploy your local host such that whoever you guys, all of you who are watching this and whoever in this world, when they uh, search that URL, they will see my local host right now like my local host how do you do that okay for that there's an application called angrock it's easy but i don't expect everyone to know that maybe you are so maybe you are super advanced but you might not even know that that's very normal guys so uh, because usually people don't use this okay go ahead to google and type angrock n-g-r-o-k and -O -K, and download it okay i already downloaded it. it's nothing crazy it's just like 
a command prompt window. Okay, it's a command prompt window, and you just type a bunch of command. Okay, not bunch, just one one line of command. Okay, I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna make it big. Okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab my HTTP port 5500, my local host port 5500, which is where my HTML files run file runs, and I'm gonna temporarily deploy it to the internet and get a URL because that's what I'm desperate for right now. I want a URL, right? So this is what you're supposed to type. Angrock.exe, that's the application name. HTTP, that means the internet, whatever. Uh, 5500, because I'm gonna transform my 5500 to the internet, okay? Then what's gonna happen is that, how do I scroll down? Wait, no. I'm not sure why I can't scroll down, but uh, yeah. If it's small, I'm sorry. Uh, what it tells me is that I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, it gives me like a, a URL, HTTP localhost 4040. I'm gonna copy that. Okay. I'm gonna come to Google Chrome. Okay. I'm gonna come to here. I'm gonna come here. That's what Android gives me. When I paste it on my browser, I see this thing. You know what does it say? It says a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't matter. It says like uh, my session will end. Uh, in two hours so that's like I told you it's temporary right yeah it'll end in two hours okay so by then I can like um, I don't you know test my code and whatever and then I have to restart a new connection it gives me two URLs so I just grab the second one HTTPS because it's HTTPS just grab the second one and if I click this um, oh make sure to install your auth token Okay, uh, guys, uh, supposedly what's gonna happen is that if I click this URL, that URL, it's gonna uh, open my local host. Whoever, even me or you or like whoever it is. But right now, it, not everyone can do, I mean, everyone can do, can do it, but you you need to have a auth token, authorization token. That means you have to like log in. For that reason, you know what you need to do? Angrock, you go back to Angrock. Uh, everything is the same guys which i just missed uh, one step okay just log in i'm not sure what my password is but i have no idea what my password is this google Uh, okay, it's gonna okay, it works. Okay, right now. Um, I guess this is my auth token. Let me see. The idea is that I have to set an authorization token before I write other comments, but I'm not exactly sure how I did that. Uh, so let me just maybe click download. I'm just gonna. This is the live debug session, guys. Okay. It's Angrock, auth token, and then your token. Um, I think this is my auth token, so I'm gonna control C. That means I'm gonna break the connection. I have to wait, wait for a bit. Everything is right, but it's just that we need additional step. I, I, I'm not supposed to do it as a normal user. I have to do it as an authorized user to get the extra power, you know? Control C to quit, but it's not quitting. Maybe I should just close this. But if I close this, is it gonna work? Let's see. Um, Angrock.exe auth token, paste it. Did I copy it? I have to like copy this. Okay, now it work. It's gonna work. Angrock.exe. Uh, so what's happening right now is that before this, I just executed my command. Okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna give me like it's gonna allow me to do a bunch of stuff, but not the super advanced stuff. If you wanna do like with full authority. With full power, you have to like grab your authorization token, paste it here, so that it knows like, hey, it's this guy who is doing all of that. So once you, so when you hack it or something like that, 
uh, the, the FBI or whoever, the police or something would know like, okay, it's because of this guy, the entire network is broken or something. So that's why, that's why you've got authorization token, okay? Agrog.axe, HTTP 5500. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, it asks me to go to the same URL again. So I'm just gonna go to the same URL. Um, I paste it. It gives me two URLs, okay? Like a live URL, so let's just click one of them. See? Did you see it, guys? Let me just do that again. That URL, you see this URL, it's not localhost. It's it's from Engrock. This is live. If you, you guys who are watching this, if you grab this URL, paste it on your browser, you'll be able to see my localhost. Really, like, my localhost. I'll just share it in the chat box. I'm not sure, like, how many of you are live, but I'll share it over there. You will see my localhost, which is not possible in, like, You know, usually it's not possible, okay? But right now you'll see my local host, okay? So now, with the URL, we... Why are we even doing this? Because we want URL to give Chadwood, right? So I'm just gonna grab this URL, I'm gonna copy this thing. I'm gonna head back to this one, okay? I'm gonna paste this, because now I have a URL. Why didn't I... In case you are like a beginner or something, I'm gonna repeat again. Why didn't I deploy it to Heroku? or AWS or Netlify or something like that and then grab that URL, put it over here. Why not? Yeah, that's, that works. But I haven't even built my application yet. I'm not complete. I haven't completed it. If I'm complete, then I can do that. But now I'm not complete. So I need to give temporary temporary URL to test it out if it works, if chat would work. If it works, then it's good. What's the website name? You can give it uh, whatever name. My super cool website, okay? Widget color, uh, the button, it, what color do you want it to be? Maybe you can make it according to your business color or something, team color or something. Maybe it's red or something, I don't know. Welcome heading, like, either tagline. We are the best company in in the universe. Like, like seriously. And then... Enable chat greeting, like, do you want to, like, greet the user by default, like, say hi or something? So, maybe if you ask that, you can do that. I'll just say no. Create an inbox. And then, who's the agent? Who's gonna, like, in your team, chat with team, who's gonna, like, take care of this? And right now, I just have one guy, which is myself, so I'm just gonna choose me. But if, usually in a team, you'll have, like, a bunch of people, and then you, you can just assign it, like, is it gonna be... John, is it gonna be like David? Is it gonna be like who's gonna take care of it? Okay, of this inbox. Okay, I'm just gonna add add agent. The final step. You already give your URL. That's good, but you also need to inject this code in your code base. Okay, you don't need to do anything, guys. Just copy this. Just click copy, and then uh, in your HTML, uh, you know how to write a script, right? Um, how do I write a script? I guess in your body you just paste it. Just paste it. Just paste that thing. Okay. Just paste that thing. It's done. Actually, um, when you are deploying to the cloud, if you're like a professional guy or something, you don't want to like store your secret here. You want to store it in an environment variable like outside your code, and then you want to connect it so that. When, when it gets hacked or something, no one can see it. But right now, I'm just gonna put it here, just like how it gives me, okay? I'm just saying, like, when you deploy to production, to the cloud, you don't wanna, like, uh, whatever that is secret password or something, you don't, you don't wanna put it in your code, okay? I'm gonna save this file. I'm gonna head over to my Google Chrome, and then let's see my website. It looks the same, but if you look at the bottom right, you see a new button. From Chatwood, so I can click that button. This is from the customer's view, so they can like start a conversation, and then um, they can say like, "Hey, uh, my name is is uh, and I have a problem, I don't know, problem with 
your product is fix fix it or something like that fix it or whatever and they can send then uh, of course they don't want to wait right so what they can do they can say like okay this is my message but i'm not going to stay here i'm just going to shut down my computer and do something else so when if you want to reply me reply me to this email so they can like write that email okay or they can just wait for someone to reply them and on your end as a business owner or like manager or something you can click tick me there and then uh yeah and then that guy who texted you from that website that message is now here like hey my name is asha whatever and then you can reply like yeah we fixed it all good and then over there on that site that customer will receive this thing which is cool so you don't need to code anything except you, you just need to paste the script which chat would chat would going to give you so you see how cool is this like imagine like other businesses they're going to implement something crazy they're going to like i don't know spend two months or something implementing something like this but you just have to fill up details and then paste that script you don't even need to know javascript just paste it there and then on your website it's going to work which is so cool 